if, if the weather permits, I don't dress them. They are very hairy. So um, it's a sunny uh, climate we have here. So it's a bit difficult for us to dress them. We don't dress them because they have all the hair to cover, uh, to cover them from the cold and all of that. Uh, people dress for whatever reason it is, fashionable uh, for the weather, some. Uh, but we don't dress our dogs. If, if they want to, it's fine. But they have all the coats they need to get themselves protected from the weather. Yes, I buy the idea. It depends on the kind of dog you have. If you have a Caucasian, there are some Caucasians that are like, um, okay, let's just say your Caucasian is a full brown color Caucasian and you want um, your dog to have a white um, socks leg, you can easily wear the dog as white socks, you understand? Then sometimes it's a trend, it's um, fashion. You could just want your dog to just look funny, look friendly to people. So you can just put on something for your dog so that your dog will just look friendly and funny. And people tend to like, you know, from afar, you just see someone that's, I admire your dog, looking nice. Ah, that car fits the dog. It's not as if we are trying to imitate humans, no. But it's just that we're just trying to make them friendly to the society. I dress him up, let me say, once in a while, once in a week. I give him a um, bath up, which is a chemical bath, and make him so good. Once, uh, once in a month also, we always do our dog walk, because I'm far away from Ikorodo, down to Alimosha over here, to do the dog walk. So that's what we always do to our dog. So healthy and it's so good. Number one is a fashion thing. Number two, health benefits. You no, know, so far you are addressing your dog in, a, in an instance that is comfortable for the dog. You understand? Uh, every dog is a person, has a, a distinct personality. Some people want to express that good personality in their dog to show people that my dog is not just ordinary dog. To show people that my dog is not just ordinary dog, and then to show them that uh, uh, any uh, uh, people that have to give that same respect they have to for me, they should give it for my dog. So that kind of personality they want for their dog, they they they, they tend to dress up the dog. You understand? So I, I, I think so far the dog is comfortable and relating with the weather too. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, if, if the weather permits, I don't dress them. They are very hairy. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, wow. Very strange occurrences. Yes. Dressing up dogs and, and, and stuff. Yeah. But uh, Mr. Gucci here looks very comfortable. So Gucci, can you tell us, you know, if you like the outfit you're wearing. Now, the you? interview is not with Gucci. Okay, okay, that's true. It's actually with uh, <laughs> Lily Agui of Celeb Pooches, who's our guest this morning. Hi, Lily. Good morning. Hi, Lily. Welcome. You Thank you. Thanks for bringing Gucci around. I'm glad I could. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, you know, you saw the feature. Um, you know, there's, there seems to be a shift these days, you know, with, when it comes to dogs and lifestyle in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, so, what can you tell us a bit about the history of your work with dogs? Um, it's been amazing, first of all, and like I always tell people, it takes a lot. Mm. You need to have the passion, you need to have the drive. Something needs to drive you to be with a dog. Mm. For me, it's the passion and the love I have for them. So how old this is, is the height of it. How old, he can't go older than this. Three years. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. three and a half years old. All right. Yes. So he looks well loved. Yes, right? he is. He and is. appreciated. He is. So I know there are quite a lot of people that think of them as just dogs. So what, what is it that you say to people like that? <sighs> <laughs> I have no words for them. Okay. But that's one of the reasons why I decided to start up my own company, mm -hmm. Seller Pooches, mm -hmm. because I try to teach people that there's more to having dogs than just uh, security reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could have a dog for companionship. A dog could help you through the process of healing when you're ill. Mm -hmm. A dog could be your friend. You could talk to them because I talk to Gucci sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People think I'm crazy when I'm communicating with him. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quite strange. If it's better to have a scary dog mm -hmm. than to have a dog for just security reasons to be aggressive to people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that's the reason why people do not like dogs. Okay. Because they feel once you approach a dog, the dog might attack. Oh, yeah, because yeah. growing up, if you there are certain uh, friends that I couldn't go to their house <laughs> because mm -hmm. the I know that they have this really big dog and mm -hmm. you know, so th th there was this fear of dogs growing yes. up. So, but now it looks like you are trying to um, communicate a different message yes. um, to people yes. regarding dogs. Yes, 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 yes that's true. I. Like I said, it, it's possible the dog was just scary. 
just yes. has a scary face because sometimes when people see Gucci, they're like, he's scary, mm -hmm. it's possible he could attack, mm -hmm. but no. A scary face could scare people away, mm -hmm. but just train them to be pets. Mm -hmm. You could train them to know when to attack someone that wants to attack you, mm -hmm. okay? But do not train them to attack just anybody that approaches you, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the difference.